Welcome back to Dicking Around Outdoors. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're dicking around indoors. And there's a couple reasons for that. First off, it's rainy outside. Second off, this recipe requires a long cooking time. Cast Iron Wednesday, every month, gives a theme for foods that can be cooked in cast iron, and a number of YouTube channels put together videos and share those with the community. Now this month, one of the themes was holidays. Now we decided that we were going to make a holiday treat that we've never made before. We are going to make a traditional steamed English pudding. We've never tried it, but we're gonna give it a go. Probably the most famous holiday English pudding is Christmas pudding. Makes sense, right? But that's not gonna work for our channel. So we've decided to pull out So we decided to go ahead and make another but equally famous English pudding on this channel for our holiday recipe. Today, we're gonna take a stab at Spotted Dick. So hang around and let's see how this project goes. Traditionally, Spotted Dick is served with a custard on the side. So we're gonna make our custard first. And what we've got here is one half cup whole milk, one half cup of heavy cream, and a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna bring that to 180 degrees and then we're gonna whisk it in with the rest of the ingredients. And this is the first time that we have ever done a video using the induction burner. So I apologize ahead of time for any fan noise that you might get. The milk has reached our temperature and we have taken it off to cool a little bit. Next step, we are whisking together three egg yolks and three tablespoons of sugar. Once this milk cools, we're gonna go ahead and whisk that in as well. All right, back in the burner, we're gonna use a low heat here. We certainly don't wanna bring this to a boil or anything like that. So we're just gonna let it go slowly. It's gonna be maybe five minutes, I think, before we get the texture that we want. Once we get that, we're gonna go ahead and take it off, let it cool a bit, put it in a different bowl and throw it in the refrigerator. Our custard is thickened up. I just want to show you what it looks like here. You've got the back side of the spoon that sticks to it. You run your finger through it, doesn't close up the gap. So this is ready to throw in a bowl and toss into the refrigerator. It will get thicker as it sets. The custard is resting in the refrigerator. It is time to mix up the spotted dick. We have a cast iron Dutch oven with a trivet in the bottom of it and water coming to a boil. This is sort of a water bath steamed pudding. So this is a first for me. I've never steamed a pudding before. I've never used suet, which is one of the ingredients in this recipe. I got this from the BBC and the only ingredient that I had to change instead of currants, we're using raisins. And the, in the inclusion of raisins or currants is what makes the spots, which creates spotted dick. So in this pan, we have salt and self-rising flour. To that, we are going to mix zest from an orange and a lemon, suet, some baking sugar, which is as close to caster sugar, I think, as I could find, and the raisins. So we're gonna go ahead, mix that into the uh, flour. Give that a good stir. And if you uh, do your own sausage making or meat grinding, if you've ever ground suet, uh, <laughs> you know what a treat that was yesterday. And into this mix, we're gonna go ahead and add some whole milk. We've got a little extra in reserve. What we're looking for is a dough that is dry, but a bit moist, I guess, if that makes sense. A firm dough, a firm dough that's a bit moist. So we're just gonna get this mixed up. It goes into a handy little pudding basin, which of course we had to get a pudding basin to make this video. So let's get this mixed up. And then we have to fabricate a lid for this basin. And it is a combination of parchment paper that is buttered and tin foil. So we're gonna have to have the help of camera lady here to get this thing on. So once we get this pudding into the basin, we'll get the lid on and come back to you. Our pudding lid is on. It was a little bit of a challenge to get the string tied while holding down the tin foil and the parchment paper, but we did it. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set this into the water bath. And we're gonna cook this to 180 degrees 
which we expect to be about an hour and a half. We just temp the pudding and it has been an hour and a half and we are done. So I am going to go ahead and take it out. The next step is just to remove it from the water bath and let it set and cool for about 10 minutes. So that is what we are going to do. Moment of truth. Let's uh, see, I'm really curious. It's still pretty warm. I'm gonna go ahead and just run a knife around the edges. It smells really good. And let's see, I don't, don't really know what it's supposed to look like. And there we have it. For the most part, it came out unscathed. And there you have Spotted Dick, a steamed English pudding. So I think we should slice a little bit of that off and taste it with some custard. All right, we've dished a bit up and we've got our custard on it. Now, <laughs> I'm not so sure Claridge's would think that this presentation is good for their holiday table, but I'm more concerned with how it tastes. So let's see. You can really smell the fruit, the zest. Mmm. Despite the name, <laughs> this is quite tasty. So, if you're ever in the mood to make something completely different, try an English steamed pudding. It's a little bit out of the norm, but it is really tasty. And if you really don't want to try to make it, but see one in the store, you might give it a try. You'd be surprised, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. We've really enjoyed this. If you like the content, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to hit the button in the lower right hand corner. And as always, take care and we'll see you outdoors or perhaps indoors.